What's going on? Kevin Hellions again. And yeah, it's a different backdrop today. Uh, it was warm here in central New York last night. So we moved the computer and a few other things into the bedroom because that's the room that has the air conditioning. And uh, just stayed here in case it's hot today. And I said to do a video in here today. And uh, actually, the lighting is possibly better in here than it is in the other room. Um, so, we'll continue. We can do much videos in here today. Um, my cat is looking at something. Huh. Anyways, um, today I'm going to look at Haunt issue number 16. Notebook. So, I've never read Haunt before. Um, I picked up a ton of... Todd McFarlane stuff when I was younger and just starting out in comics and I couldn't tell you a single thing from a single issue of Spawn and I bought at least at least the first 50 issues if not more um I remember you know the Dave Sim one uh kind of remember Neil Gaiman one kind of the Alan Moore one and that is really about it uh the only reason I can remember any of the villains is because I was collecting the uh, original Spawn toys from Todd Toys at the time, not McFarlane Toys. So, I haven't really been on it. I think he's, he, he is kind of douchey at times, but Robert Kirkman's writing haunt. So, I kept saying, I'll look at it, I'll look at it, I'll look at it. I never did. Happened to pick up issue 16. And it is actually really fucking good. But I'm not getting any more issues. Now, you might wonder why. Well, if you liked it, why would you not buy more issues? There's a reason for that. I very much liked it, but I don't know what the fuck's going on. Even though I don't know what's going on, the characters don't mean anything to me. I don't really understand who or what Haunt is. Uh, the story, there's stuff I'm missing. There was a lot of good shit in there. Uh, a lot of stuff that just, like, it made sense seemed interesting and seemed like stuff that if I'm reading on a more regular basis it's shit that's gonna make sense to me so I'm thinking Haunt's definitely worth picking up if you like it you know if you like Robert Kirkman uh, it's McFarlane Inc. and it's Greg Capullo doing the art much like it's been for Spawn for many years um, it's pretty good Definitely, like, pick up the first trade. I'm going to do that, too. See how well I like it. See if it's actually going somewhere. See if, you know, maybe I maybe I just, you know, on its own it seemed good, but it's part of the bigger picture. It eh, it's not really working out. I don't know. I'm saying Haunt's worth it at least a try for you. Keep going with it. Um, I know some people whose reviews I follow actually very much like the series as well. Uh, I'm trying to think if... Uh, first page. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what's going on, but it seems really cool. Nice little phrase where one of the one of the brothers that's part of this haunt thing asks, "Are you God?" And the being, the overall thing that's talking to him says, "Don't be ridiculous." Must be going somewhere big there. Like it just, it's interesting enough that I want more. That's the best I can say for a comic, I guess. I want more. So, uh, Haunt is a buy and trade, see how you like it, that's what I'm going to be doing. And if it's as good as Walking Dead, then I will switch to individual issues every month, because I can't wait for trade. Kevin Hellions, TeamHellions.com, go and check it out, watch more on here, see you later.